In the bug world, the smallest creature can be the cruelest killer. But some corners of the rainforest breed truly terrifying giants. When a red rump tarantula goes up against a giant cockroach, it's a battle of the megabonds. Deep in the Costa Rican jungle, something burrows through the leaf litter. A creature that sparks fear and loathing in equal measure. A menacing monster with hooded armor and a four-inch body. This beast lives up to its title, the giant cockroach. These cockroaches are the biggest cockroaches on Earth. They're opportunistic carnivores, omnivores, whatever they can get to eat. It's a camouflage expert, blending in perfectly with the leaf litter. Large compound eyes wrap around the antennae like alien sunglasses. But for this mega bug, sight isn't as important as chemical detection. Kept scrupulously clean, thread-like antennae, almost twice as long as the giant's enormous body, probe the air for telltale smells and air currents. The huge body is defended by hardened wing cases. An armored collar called a pronotum shields the head and thorax. Powerful spine-covered limbs rake across opponents' bodies, tearing and ripping their flesh. Would-be predators must also contend with sharp mandibles that hack and slash. Their mandibles are relatively small, but they're really strong, and they're designed to be able to take apart almost anything that they encounter. When they fight, they'll use their legs, and they can also rip the opponent's legs off, so they can be pretty dangerous. But today, Another bug world titan is on the prowl. A male red rump tarantula. Tarantulas have been around for a very long time, way before the dinosaurs. And everything about them is supersized. Their legs, their bodies, their fangs, and their ability to turn other animals into yesterday's news. This male's mean enough to play nasty. But against a roach on roids, smart enough to play safe. That's why it wasn't a predatory act of aggression. It was a defensive spike driven purely by fear. When tarantulas are threatened, they'll rear up in front of a foe, raising the front legs and flashing their fangs. But biting is usually the last line of defense. Besides, this male tarantula isn't hunting for food. He's looking for love, but tarantula love is a one-sided affair. The male red rump tarantula is a monster, but the female, that's where the word extreme isn't extreme enough. She's five to six inches across, positively humongous, and she can live over 20 years. When a female meets a male, she will either mate him or eat him. Unfortunately, he doesn't know which. For some males, that's just too risky. This big mama doesn't miss much. Her eight small eyes, grouped close together, provide only poor vision. Instead, she hunts by vibration. Her massive body and legs are covered in long sensory hairs. Hair also forms a unique defense. Beneath the red rump's fiery abdominal hair, tiny barbed strands called 
urticating hairs can be flicked onto an approaching enemy. They're like fiberglass, so you can imagine if they get into somewhere sensitive or in the eyes, the itching would drive a predator crazy. This male is prepared to risk his life for a mate, even though she can be the date from hell. Courting behavior in these spiders is a complex ritual with all sorts of palpal drumming, body vibrations, and leg tapping. You don't just walk up and say, how you doing? The female has one goal, to have her eggs fertilized. Otherwise, the male is just one more piece of meat. Her huge fangs, like daggers, pierce his head. The fangs are truly scary, up to a third of an inch long in the females and quite wide. Because these are ancient spiders, they're more like ice picks than pinchers. What the tarantulas do is drive the fangs down with incredible force, which opens up massive wounds in the prey's body. Now her juices start flowing. Digestive enzymes break down her would-be lover. His flesh dissolves. What the male had hoped would be dinner for two is now soup for one. The giant cockroach has intimidated one male tarantula tonight. But what happens when a monstrous female weighs in? This big female tarantula, she's much less likely to be threatened off just by the size of this cockroach. She's much more likely to take it on. But this is a good-sized cockroach. It could be a real battle, and it could take a really long time. Next, rainforest giants on the rampage. Then, carnage with clubs and claws. And later, super scrappers slug it out. Nightfall in the rainforest. A giant cockroach lumbers through the leaf litter on a collision course with a female red rump tarantula. The tarantula has massive fangs and paralyzing venom. The giant cockroach has sturdy armor and spiked legs that can wound. Which of these mega bugs will live to see the sun rise. The cockroach approaches, unafraid. The tarantula is poised to attack. Against any other bug, the battle would be over. But those ice pick fangs haven't yet found soft flesh. They're hooked on the cockroach's armored collar. The spider's holding on like a rodeo rider on a bucking bronco. These cockroaches just don't give in. It's putting up an epic struggle. It keeps trying to kick and kick it's holding on to the ground. It's trying to move forward. Anything that it can do to get away from this tarantula. The tarantula isn't built to fight a long, drawn-out battle. Tarantulas have a very primitive form of lungs. While they're capable of great power over short bursts, prolonged struggles are not their forte. There's another problem, an annoying ant swarm. The cockroach catches a break. But just as it gets off the mat, round two begins. A 
a fang plunges through the cockroach's armor. Dozens of mites who made a home under the cockroach's wings start leaving the sinking ship. This is really a web of life, and you see mites on almost everything. Mites are blood suckers. Now the tarantula sucks the life out of its once mighty opponent. In the bug world, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. 